Hello Brick Sculptors and welcome back to Brick Sculpt. This is Chris and today we're going to do a follow-up video on my stud reversal with plates and tiles only video. This video did so well. I'm so glad for all the attention it got. You guys are awesome. The comments were great. I learned a ton and just the outpour of support and love. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for all the support you give me in this channel. If you guys do like this stuff I'm doing and want to see more, uh, best way to support this work I'm doing is to subscribe and like these videos and I will try my best to keep them coming as best as I can to keep you guys entertained. I do want to see this thing grow as much as I can. So let's go ahead and get started here. Before I go into stud reversal to anti-stud, I want to share a couple of techniques that a viewer posted. Uh, this is from Nexus NUI, and he showed me a couple in a YouTube short. I'll post that in the comments if you want to watch it. Um, but basically, he showed a couple of techniques I didn't cover that I thought were pretty interesting, so I'm going to share them here. The first one is for a 3x3 stud reversal, and he basically made these two pieces. You got one of these guys with the angled piece on top. Same thing here, and then you just flip it stick them together. This is kind of a weak connection at this point. Uh, I think to take best advantage of this, you should really build it out. And what I mean by that is fill in the gaps here. And then uh, it still comes apart. If you wanted to make it even more filled out, put your three by three plate on each side. I think that's a pretty cool technique. Another one he posted, which I really like, uses these guys here. He basically took four of them and just did them opposite sides, like this, and then just filled in with some plate, just like this. This is a cool technique because it locks in all directions and gives you studs on both sides. I really like this. I wish I would have thought of this one for my video, but that's why I'm showing it to you now. Um, now, a really, really common request, and the main reason I want to do this video was for anti-stud reversal. So, pretty much any of these can be done anti-stud. On this particular one, you just replace the plates with tiles. You would still want to build this out, so you could attach anti-stud here, unless you just needed it in the middle. Um, but this is how you could do anti-stud on both sides with this particular build. And really, pretty much anything from the first video can be done anti-stud. Um, for example, this is the first one I did in the video. And uh, it can be done anti-stud just like this. Now it's a little bit different in that when you build studs out. These areas are already smooth and so they're thin. This area you have to put a tile on to make it smooth. When you build studs facing in, this area is already smooth and this has studs. So you kind of have to reverse what you're doing a little bit, but it works out the same. It's just a little bit different thicknesses in different places. So you can make basically the same shape. This is the same width, just with the anti-studs facing out. The little one I made did the same thing, anti-stud. These are fairly weak. I don't recommend doing this. I like this size much better. This bigger guy, I really like this technique. Same thing, just use a lot of tile. And you have double anti-stud. Um, a lot of people commented in my video that if you want any of these to lock in all directions, all you have to do is make the same thing, flip it, and uh, combine the plates on the outside. And that's true. So any of these techniques, if you want them to lock in all directions, you can. You just have to make duplicates of these, run different directions on them, and connect them by plate, and they will be solid in all directions. Um, the video's point was to show kind of how small you can make these, so I didn't do that, um, but it definitely can be done, and you can lock any of these, oops, sorry Rick, in all directions, so that was a good tip that everyone uh, added there in the comments. 
Moving on, then we got into this technique here, which can be done, it's gonna be thicker because I don't have the use of this piece here where it's two studs and two smooth tile. But you can still make that shape, you just have to make it a little bit wider. I should also mention that as you get into these, they fit looser when you do them anti-stud. See, this is the zigzag design I did, and you see I can kind of pop this up and it'll stay where I put it. This one's all tile, it just slides right together. So it's not as tight of a fit, which may or may not matter depending on the application. Sorry about the colors on this, I was running low on some of these pieces, so I just kind of threw stuff together. So it might make it kind of hard to see what's going on there, but it's essentially the anti-stud version of this stair step guy. The pocket joint was fun. This is my favorite from the first video. And um, you can do it in anti-stud, if I made this wider, it'd be stronger, but you can do it really narrow if you utilize these, these pieces here. It's just gonna be kind of weak because you have to do some kind of, kind of weak connections to get everything in the right place. Like that's only held on by one stud and this middle is completely open, but you can make it the same width if you need to. I would highly recommend adding a plate on the, the outsides of each of these though. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I know the first one got a lot of attention, so hopefully you guys like this one just as much. If you have any other comments or suggestions or questions, please leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to do more just like this in the future, and we will see you next time.